I've already planned how to steal all these for later. Pierre Dime gonna be making it rain at his computer shop. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Uh-oh. Uh, I'm just going to stand over there now. <laughs> Who's this? Accountant. Can't do anything with the post notes. I click on it. I say look at. And then nothing. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby. Yeah, I don't know why you have to push the button twice. Oh, this looks interesting. The note says, help yourself to the breadsticks. We only buy the best. Unlike our competitor, Satisfactory Genetics, which serves barf sticks. Clearly the inferior stick-based food. Ah, an inferior Breadsticks will not help me on my quest, unless I want to throw an average party with people I don't even like. Not a huge fan of breadsticks. Too nutritious, to be honest. There's a rule somewhere that waiting rooms always have to have outdated magazines. Break the rule and the universe will implode, collapsing in on itself. Right, it's the rule. Then how will people handle being alone with their own thoughts for more than 10 minutes? Be busy. Eastern European gossip magazines are the worst. They consist solely of vodka distilling and sausage making celebrities especially the kubasa king belly slapping life this guy is a legend among the belly slapping scene i wish i had these skills i just never had the belly girth i'm good at that nice i can use this with my dupagin it's either a doggy door or a gnome door Considering the secretary is a knight, it's probably a doggy door. Knights are notorious for gnome racism. Ooh, that's bad. I've never been good at doggy style. Or any style, for that matter. It opens some other way. It's the door that, I assume, leads to Ula's office. Yes. Babe, I love you. Can't you see that? I just want you to open up to me. I have mixed feelings about the corporation. They do want to kill me and dissect me, but I really like their logo. Goes to show how important logos are for a company's perceived quality. Ooh, I bet your kerning is tight as hell. Probably better to steal a brand identity that is not associated with evil, experimentation, and world domination, even if it is a nice design. You know what? We don't see enough people using lances these days for murder. It's a shame. He would be my first choice for sure. Hey, uh, do you mind if I take this? Frankly, I don't do much lancing these days. Oh, uh, yes. It's enchanted, too. His name is Larry Lancey. Just ask him nicely and you can summon or unsummon him. Larry Lancey? Keen to ride with me? Yes, let us unite and bring pain and suffering to our enemies. And then drink some cold brewskis over their corpses. Nice shield. Thanks. I won it in a dungeon. Cool. And Dragon's Game. Eh, not so cool. Ha! You try rolling straight twenties on a pony unicorn ride action, and then we can talk about what's not cool. <laughs> can I have it? Can I have this? The shield stays. Oh. I use it as a trendy plate for my cheese platters. I've always wondered what it would be like to have an extra plus two defense. At the moment, 
I'm running a negative 20 due to my head's surface area alone. I guess it makes sense to have a knight as a secretary. Statistically, they are least likely to skim profits from your company. Code of chivalry, I guess. I prefer to do this joke only when there is no chance of me being killed by a 7 foot knight. Perhaps I can use him to enact a crusade on Doug. Maybe later. Good afternoon. Welcome to Olaf's waiting room. How may I help you? Why the plate mail? I used to be a knight, you see. Saving princesses, slaying dragons and such. You know how it is, lad. Cool. Why did you quit? It turns out, as a secretary, I get paid twice as much and get a company horse, among other benefits. All without touching a sword, and occasionally flirting with the boss. Now, lad, which would you choose? Uh, to be a horse? Sorry, uh, I wasn't paying attention. Damn it, laddie. I'd like to talk to the sloth. All right, lad. What's your name? Paradigm. Wait. Uh, that was dumb. Ah, yes, you're right here. You're not scheduled for autopsy till tomorrow. Sorry, you'll have to wait until then. I can hardly wait. Do I get a bowl of ice cream after? Well, you'll be pickled and jarred after the procedure, for future reference. But I think I can arrange that. Just make sure to leave a good review on RateMySecretary.com. Can you help me defeat the mythical beast, Texas? Yes, funny you ask, actually. I'm a freelance accountant. Email me at dragonsucks at gmail.com and I'll sort you out. Can you possibly help me defeat Olaf? Sorry, I used to do the whole defeating evil thing, but, you know, times change. I have a family and everything. My son, little Joey, is a level five paladin now. He murdered his first witch just last week. Ah, oh, they grow up so fast. Is Olaf a good guy? I know he pays on time. That's all that matters. I try to block out the whole turning the world's entertainment into just glam metal and wrestling thing. And that weird vomiting candy thing he does. <sighs> Do you ever miss being a knight? Not really. Lots of drama. You'd be surprised how much knights gossip. There was once a rumor going around that I was two dogs in plate mail. It turns out the guy who started the rumor was, in fact, two dogs in plate mail. I need to go save some damsels in Budapest. Don't you mean distress? I think I know a little bit more about knighting than you. What? Ooh, I like those plants. Yeah? I planted them too. They're singing plants from my hometown. Just use them and then hover your mouse over them. I mean, uh, point at them. I'm not that into fern play. Ever since I got that rash. Okay. Pretty flowers. Yes. But they are cursed. Anything that touches them shrinks. Items and people wouldn't recommend. Noted. Not sure what I was expecting. Oh, damn it, you're an idiot. I'm only doing this for you once. Vanguardium imbecilis. <laughs> I might as well toboggan under a ladder. Or was it breakdance under a ladder? No, oh, no. It was going out on a date with a ladder. Impressive trophy. Eh, I bought it from a Trujoski Mart. They didn't have the color I wanted, but I made a compromise. I kind of regret it. Its color just doesn't represent me as a person, you know. Can I take this? No. I paid full retail price for it. I need to use it for a while to justify it. 
currently there are no damsels in distress around for me to impress. Nothing says boyfriend material like a fat rhymer and a dragon slayer. Wherever there is sci-fi, there is nondescript glowing blue balls. Both kinds. There are only so many jokes you can make about balls. No thanks, nuclear power still treats me well. Glowing blue balls are too mainstream for me. Billy was Dupa Genetics maintenance man for many faithful years. His personal hygiene was terrible, the facility's hygiene was acceptable. Until he was sadly taken away from us, 4 6 2026. It was Take Your Pet to Work Day, and Artyom, a former employee, brought in his bear, which took countless employees' lives, including everyone's favorite. Billy. Due to HR cutbacks, we present to you this bubblehead of Billy to forever honor his life here at <laughs> Dupa Genetics. On a side note, Artyom's bear now works in upper management. Signed, Dupa Genetics CEO Ulof. Sorry, Billy. I need this. You probably shouldn't take that. I'm paid well, but not well enough to stop you physically. You're not very good at your job, are you? Uh, do you want to steal that or not? Uh, yes. <laughs> wow, this is amazing. Some sci-fi fanboys arguing about which sci-fi property is best. It's like a live feature rendition of an online comment section. How about we go back to my place and discuss in great depth the expanded universe of Star Conquest. My favorite is interplanetary space tax reform. I will use this to make an informed decision about whether Star Battles or Star Conquest is better. Well, whichever one can fill up my room with enough merch, rendering me untateable. Laser sword on the streets, Darth Vooder in the sheets. Alright, let's go to the elevator. We need to go back. We get back to hallway one. Uh, office, labs, head mark. I guess it's office. Oh, there's hallway three. The hallway one. It's too high up. I can't reach it. If only I was a noodle hand mutant. There's probably something else I could use. Well, we do have a lance. Goes to show, even if you are crafted for murder, you can go against the grain and do something positive. Summon! Lance, Larry, attack leg. Goodbye, fleshy mortal. I must go back to my realm. Later, what? Larry Lancey. I love fantasy magic. Some say puns are most concentrated in men with socks and sandals. Okay, onward. Back the elevator. <laughs> Bing bong. Go ahead, forget I wanted two buttons. Church of the Latter-day Glam. Ooh.
not sure what kind of confession you'd give in a clan metal based religion. I didn't wear any eyeliner today. I only did two lines when I should have done five. Then how will people confess to their sins? Clan metal gods, I have sinned. I have not worn eyeliner or my jeans from the women's department. Smite me down where I stand. Baby, if you let me inside your room of sin, I'll tell you my embarrassing secrets and then you'll reconsider dating me. Glam nun. She is some sort of a glam metal grandma nun. No one makes cocaine like grandma used to. None of this pre-packaged garbage. You know, sometimes there is a line I draw for this stuff. I don't know where it is though. Please help me. I have a problem. <laughs> I'm sure there's someone out there waiting to use her life insurance already. Oh my, you poor soul. I'm so sorry the glam metal gods cursed you with such a head. Have a toffee. Thanks? You're gonna have to grab it out of my cleavage. My hands are busy at the moment. I'm not sure if I want- Just take the damn toffee. Yeah. My hands are super sticky from the toffee. I hate sticky hands. I'd rather be punched in the face and have it over with. Also, attached to the toffee are my digits on a piece of scrap paper. Just ignore that. I'm not hitting on you. I'm not that into the terminally ill. Are you like some sort of nun? Kinda. Except I can do whatever I want. Anything. Including playing lawn bowls nude. Oh, you haven't lived until you feel the wind between you. Yes, uh, yes, I, I believe you. <coughs> can you tell me more about the church? Certainly. It's the Church of the Latter-day Glam. It's just like most religions, except you can pretty much do anything. There is a demand, however, for excess. And this excess has to be rock star like You can't just play a lot of Sudoku and expect to go to glam heaven. Does it get tiring holding your hand up like that? No, no. This is a divine miracle from the hair metal gods. They bless me with constant metal gesture. Isn't it just called arthritis? If you want to die in a fiery marsh pit for all eternity, I'd keep speaking like that, heathen. Hmm. How do I join the church? All you need to do is attend a space dust party for ten days straight and receive an STD blessing. Would you be interested? Is it BYO? Yes. Sorry, I have some... Uh, VHS tapes to return. I don't have time to join any churches. Suit yourself. Hmm. Can I have some of your donation money? Like you said, the glam at the gods did not look kindly upon me. Oh my, I wish I could, but our holy book is against giving money to people who have no chance to live. Wait, what? Let's be realistic, you don't have much time left. Come on, I'm only <laughs> ill in a hip-hop sense. I'm not dying. Shush, shush, son. Accept your death. Go on a bender, you'll feel much better. Besides, we mostly give money to the homeless. It's all in the great and sacred glam metal codex. Accessible to all glam metal churches via the dot .nfo stations. You need to shave. Are you sure you don't want to give me some charity money? Don't ask again. Look at you. You're about to die. It's against my beliefs. Read the .nfo file on the terminal. Maybe the gods of glam will go easy on you. Okay, because this option is not going away, I'm thinking somewhere down the line we're going to have to get some uh, charity money.